Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy, Steven. Triumph Gaming over here. Today's video is going to be insane, guys. Literally, I, I showcased you guys before. I was Thunder Dragon Pendulums. Because I go, oh, Thunder Dragon, 60 card this, 60 card that. So I decided to make a 40 card consistent Thunder Dragon Pendulum build for you guys. Spitting out Colossuses like it's the, the day job of the deck. A lot of draw cards to draw into the Thunder Dragons. They should get Thunder Dragons every single turn. Every, and even if Colossus doesn't do anything against the deck, you put a Plays instead, backed up with lots and lots of negates. It's not just Colossuses. What's Thunder Dragons do? Put up two Colossus and a Titan? That's soft. I put up double Colossus, Vortex, and Dragster. Easy. And if you draw a Jackal, it's even easier. If you don't use your normal summon, maybe you can tribute a Jackal and get even another negate. So I'm going to show these guys the deck, the deck right now. Before we get started, I want to shout out a few people. One, Ryan Yu on my team. Thank you for giving me a fantastic, fantastic gift over here. Right over there. And... He's my teammate, shout out Game Nation, the best team in the world. Check us out, link in the description below, 5% off all your gear cards using Pangod 5. And lastly guys, subscribe guys, we're almost at the 13,000 amount. You guys are amazing, man. The last week, we got 500 subscribers in 7 days. I love you guys, I love the support, I can't say that enough from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all the support guys. So without further ado, we're going to showcase to you guys, Thunder Dragon Pendulums. First! 40 cards, but you already know we gotta keep up with the 12 turbo cards. These 12 turbo cards are not leaving my deck if it's a normal deck. Yeah, in the Pangrab deck, it's all level rank 4. Abductor is the best card out of these. Some of you guys still don't play Abductor. Well, look how many spells we have. The whole half the deck is green. These are also spells. Electro, all you need is to open one spell. Activate the spell, Doctor gets a counter. Activate any uh, scale, it gets two counters. Electro popped other scale, you get a third counter, add your harmonizing, add whatever you want, add a jackal, etc. etc. It's incredible. Especially now that you want a bunch of one card negates. There's a game plan with this deck. We even threw Zephyr Metaltron in here. For this build, we took the PKs out just because we want to ensure drawing 600 dragons, you're gonna you might brick, right? With the Metaltron, we create space, and then we simply got like vortex and three one card negates. This deck is based off one card negates. Four negates every turn off the one card variety. Those are the turbo cards. Next, two dark womb, which I believe is correct. You only want to send it from your you, the, a deck to grave. You don't want to draw it. Uh, I understand like a normal, normal, that, normal, that, but you're sending it to grave anyways. And after turn one, you're not uh, just a garnet anyways. You want it in the grave, uh, not in your hand. Two is more than enough. It just ensures that if you draw one worm, you have another to send. And we don't play Desires because uh, we don't want to banish like a Thunder Dragon and have a Thunder Dragon bring out another, like a, another, not another Colossus. So it's a neg one negate. So why play Desires when you're going to most of the time banish a Thunder Dragon? You're going to neg one negate. So with that, we play like the smallest ratios of the uh, cards in the deck as possible. So two Dark Room. Next, the Magician Count. As we said, you don't play Desires. You're not banishing your Magicians away. Two Harmonizing is all you need. Why? Because you're summoning Thunder Dragons from your hand. Are you, like, are you going to summon two Colossus, two Thunder Dragons and a Harmonizing and not use Harmonizing's effect and not su summon two monsters from your extra deck? Yeah. So Harmonizing is typically not the best card to have. It's only there as a utility to have two uh, for the versatility of Pen Call and then sending one with uh, uh, with Electrum. So even if you get Ogre, you can add one back. That's the only reason you play two. Uh, what about Purple Poison? And we took Purple Poison out. I like there with a nice little uh, eye there. Notice if we don't play Purple Poison, we play Wisdom. I want you guys to think about it right now, for those that play Pendulums. You play one Purple Poison anyways. How many times do you realistically use Purple Poison's effect? Not that much. You guys need to have a brain here. Purple Poison is not what it was with 3 Electro. It's not what it was back then. Yeah, going second is not even the best. Like, what are you going to Purple Poison? A Sky Striker, Kagari, like a Shizuku? What are you going to pop? It's really not the best anymore. Uh, it's really not. It's not necessary whatsoever. we rather a Janky Magician, because like I said, with this deck, is that one card negates. You want to get this out as soon as possible. There's a lot of cool combos to ensure you get out the extra negates and interruptions by going Tornado Dragon, uh, uh, Vortex, Tornado Dragon, uh, popping your Black Fang, bring out the third negate, and then Double Colossus. So you're going to have a janky Double Colossus, Vortex, Tornado. It's very easy to do in this deck, but it requires you to play these two. And we don't want to play a High Magician count because you're uh, they're only here for Pen Call. Pen Call wasn't a card, you're not playing these. Pen Call is just here for these. Time Games is because of Chronograph, so you're playing these anyways. And these are the other magicians because of one card negate and this black bag will bring out the janky through tornado dragon 
and vortex. Those are the only reasons they're there. If they weren't there for any of those reasons, we're taking it out. And six is a perfect ratio for you to ne never run out of harmonized magician on your first harmony ma ma magician. And we only play four pen calls, not six, so it's a perfect number. I want to play more pen calls to be honest, but it's good. Two jackal, one card negates. Otherwise, uh, again, no desires. Uh, if you, you're not playing desires in your deck, and if it's not a one card negate uh, type of deck, so you're playing the PKs as you should, but this is a Thunder Dragon deck, so we took it out. Take out the second jackal. You do not need it. Put up a Shillisk in there. Yo, later, bro. Uh, you can play four upstarts like that. Cerberus turns into Turbo or Upstart. Why on earth would you not want to play that? Or even a Garuda for the real spice. Yo, later, bro. It's a fantastic card. But we're playing one card in the gate, so two Jackals fine. One gate, zero. If you play two, you might as well play two Garnets and a, a three Brilliant Fusion. They're just wrong. Next, a Thunder Dragons. Beautiful. You draw a Thunder Dragon, discard it. Add two Thunder Dragons to hand, Pendulum Summon, two Colossuses. It's absolutely insane, and you have so many scales in the deck. We made it so there's lots of high scales, lots of low scales. Absolutely beautiful. Dark, why do we play this? Well, for multiple reasons. One, you discard this, even just get one. That's fine. You still get one Colossus. That's totally fine. One Colossus is typically all you need. And another great way to play Allure Darkness. Allure Darkness, one of these is absolutely incredible. Because you get back two Thunder Dragons, because one's going to get back one, two, and you draw two cards. So a lure with this is insane. Yeah, it's plus two. Literally a plus two for free. And in Pendulum, that's crazy. And then we play Upstart as well. We want to see a Thunder Dragon as soon as possible, but we still don't want to play Desires. So that's why we play those. And uh, putting these in, uh, when you play against back row decks, we have a lot of, uh, in the side deck, we have a lot of hate for back row. So you just side in all the hate for back row and keep these in. You're always going to see them, especially in a 40 card deck. We play four pendulum calls, three uh, if I'm not enough, five a little too much maybe in a 40 card deck, four if I'm perfect in a 40 card deck. If the next card I'm putting in, I might take it up start for a fifth pen call, but this, I like this ratio right now. One foolish, two dragon shrine. Uh, also correct ratio for 40, don't play more, don't play less for 40. That's a 40 card deck. Amazing, I'm not gonna showcase you guys the extra deck. Obviously Electro, Lampalock is because we play, uh, uh, we don't play the underclock anymore and the uh, other uh, the PK card, the unicorn we still keep because the Thunder Dragon we took out Phoenix, not that necessary. Metaltron. If you're playing a deck that revolves around one card negates, this whole deck revolves around one card interruptions. Double Colossus, Jackal Vortex, etc. etc. You want four of them up. But in order to do so, you have to pendulum summon three one card interruptions. And in order to make the space, you need Metaltron. That's why you play it for here. Uh one of each borrow load, borrow card. Shout out Alec for uh, letting me borrow the Borrow Sword. Uh, Tornado Dragon Dweller. Dweller, obviously, best way for interruption. And Tornado Dragon. I was going to take it out, but the interaction with Black Fang and Janky after you Vortex is incredible. You literally get a free interruption Tornado, a free Vortex, and a free Janky. And then you have two Colossuses. Your opponent literally cries. Next, Colossus doesn't hurt every deck, so you also got to play these for them. Now, I'm processing the Colossuses without just Titans here. Uh, I didn't have access to them at the moment for the profile, but these are Colossuses, so Pleiades and Double Colossus. Sometimes Colossus doesn't hurt lots of decks. Having access to a Pleiades helps a lot. Too many times I want to go into it, but I didn't put it in the deck. And there's honestly too, a lot of space in the extra deck if you apply your space wisely. So, so, so like what meta decks would you make Pleiades against instead of Colossus? Like, yeah, so a lot of stuff that doesn't search. So a lot of the times, actually I had one situation where I was te in testing, Alter Guy searches sometimes, but uh, it just was so useless in the situation. So incredibly useless. I'm like, forget that. But a play these helped incredibly. Uh, more so to bounce back with my cards in my hand. And their hand, it just, uh, so the utility of it is great. It gets rid of back row as well if you need to. And one on your turn, one on their turn. Uh, the, just the overall utility of it. And even in times where you're going for a game, where Colossus isn't enough, even just top decking, chances are Colossus is your top deck. And what's the chance they're going to draw a search card? Having a play these just fantastic. Uh, further ensuring victory. Next, Absolute and Vortex. Just because we, the janky Black Fang combo is fantastic, and you're not going to banish them because you don't play Desires. Uh, then one Dragster, one Omega. Omega is only there because we side Gammas. Uh, otherwise, we would take Omega out for Castell. Castell is a fantastic card in this meta because Thunder Dragons are a thing, and it really helps for game. It really, really, really does. It's just a very versatile card that people cut out, but I think it's just a great card in general. Now in terms of the side deck, Hand Trap. If FTKs weren't a thing, I would not play Hand Traps, but FTKs are a thing. Uh, I was facing uh, Mr. Cameraman Alec over here uh, for fun earlier, and I would have get destroyed. Uh, he won game one because he's playing Danger. But not Danger of the K, but Danger where it puts it every turn, every turn puts up Fairy Tail Snow, uh, 
a griffin, so you can't use effects, and imperial order. So those three are tough to get over. They're tough to get over, for sure. So I, I couldn't stop it, got to draw a hand trap. Game two, he didn't draw a hand trap. I, uh, did he draw a hand trap game two? Uh, I drew impermanence. Oh, you drew impermanence, but I still put a four interruptions. Yeah, but you opened up harmonizing. Um, so crazy stuff. So I, I was playing by my typical PK Zephyr build, so I put up a Zephyr, Solemn Judgment, Double fog blade and a jackal is or a dragster, right? That's just a lot of yeah, it's like four interruptions. Yeah, four interruptions through a permanence. It's what the deck does. Uh, but you need to see hand trap. And then going third, we're going third in game three when I was going second. Uh, I drew a Valor and a Gamma and it won me the game. But so Gamma just so versatile, both first and second. Uh, if you know your opponent plays a bear hand traps, you just play your spell cards, you'll negate get it for your Omega. Three Valor, this is supposed to be in permanence, but uh, just like just I threw this together literally last second. These are permanences, but Valor, if you want to play budget, Valor is uh, like whatever. Obviously, permanence is way better, but Valor still comes in clutch. You can play him for so many different uh, situations. And a, a side deck card that people don't play, but I think is really good. Also, a budget card for those people that don't want to shell too much money on hand traps is DD Crow. DD Crow comes so 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 clutch for so many matchups. It actually won me a game. I was uh, playing for fun against ABCs. Uh, I hit the last piece, and it was like. Uh, so, like, he literally just couldn't do anything. It's a good budget version of Bell. Sure. It is, it is. Exactly, exactly. Budget version of Bell, budget version of Permanence. And Gamma overall just great. And you can play Reaper if you guys looking for budget side uh, side deck cards. I I'm sponsored, but I don't want to borrow expensive cards, especially when, like, I can't play at events. So, like, it it's good at budget cards. Uh, and next for the uh, last six, we play two Hatred Nade, two Twister, and two Reboot. Uh, something about seeing uh, two loves in one hand I don't like. But just the utility of two of each, you don't, you're not going to draw like two reboots or two twists or whatever. And good for different matchups. And I signed all six against back row, obviously. Uh, four against striker. And then uh, if you want, you can play uh, crow against strikers as well. But when they target, it's good. But at the end of the day, uh, these four strikers are a really easy matchup for you. But against back row, these six you, in the 34 card, 36 card deck, because you're going to keep the lures in there, always ensures you're going to draw them. That's the side deck, guys. That's the main deck. That's the extra deck. That's it for the deck list and another video I'm going to showcase you guys random test hands and I'm going to showcase the toughest part about one card negates is creating space to bring out the Colossuses because even though you pen out a Slender Dragons, you're still going to make the space to go Colossus, etc, Dragster, that's why Metatron comes clutch. I'm going to showcase you guys another video how to do that. you got to be super, super, super crafty to stick with this new game plan because sticking to the game plan with the, with the PK version is easy. Uh, yeah, it's too easy. You just you summon random monsters, PK, you don't need a brain to do that. It's extremely simple. But with this, you do need to be super crafty, great space, but you always end up with four negates all the time, and it's absolutely fantastic. I recommend this build. I understand that Colossuses are expensive, but if you do want... Uh, uh, not a budget build, but more so if you're a noob and not so good with thunder with, with pendulums, play this build. It just one card negates. It's not that difficult. You literally just pen summon one card negates. And it, the only difficult part is finding space. But if you watch my next video, I'll showcase you guys just a few little tricks to find space. That's all you're going to do. So hope you guys like the video. Make sure to subscribe. Shout out to Game Nation again, my team, for sponsoring me. And use Pengoff 5, description below, 5% of all Yu-Gi-Oh cards. See you guys in the next video. Shout out to Patreon again. Peace.